Hey everyone, it's uh, Joe and Isaiah from The Automator. And today we're going to walk through, so I, I have this idea, we, you know, hopefully you saw the, the hotkey helper tool we built um, a couple of weeks ago and, and shared it. And I said, you know, what would be really cool is if we could have it where we could uh, pull up search results like from my uh, YouTube channel um, on the same terms. Um, now, what we started realizing was eh, it'd be really nice if we could just run run like on Chrome. Unfortunately, we're displaying our results in the IE window and um, YouTube no longer allows that. So we're like, hey, you know what? We're, this is a little more complicated. Why don't we make a video showing, which we talked through in the last uh, one or two videos ago, we talked about how sometimes you want to be able to do um, like an API call with what your browser would do and get those JSON results and shove it into your own GUI. And so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna demonstrate it using VS Code and Fiddler Everywhere. Um, and so that's where we're, we're just starting out here. Um, we haven't written any code on it. Yes, and, and this, is the, this is the interesting thing. Right now we're starting actually from scratch. Like we don't have any idea how this video is gonna go because we haven't tried this. So, so let's apologize like at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that's okay. Yeah. Now, in, in, in any case, we're going to see uh, how would you go about this, like when whenever you haven't even tried that. So uh, which might be the first steps? Because that's the hardest right. part. Like where, where should I start, right? So uh, what I'm going to do, let me go ahead and uh, share my screen first. Yeah. And uh, we have YouTube open here. Uh, that's where we're going to start. And one of the first things we did is that we uh, outlined at least the objective of what we want to get as the end result. First of all, we want to try to get a JSON object with the result from the channel query, right? And, and the reason why we're talking about a JSON object is, as we mentioned before, sometimes you might want to scrape the data out of the HTML file, but that is completely complicated and, you know, <laughs> error prone. Probably if you exactly. get a JSON object, right? So if you get an, a JSON object or an XML, you are far better off, right? Because you're going to have like a, a, a smaller exactly. object that is going to be easy for you to parse, right? So um, one thing that uh, you pointed out is that maybe we should try this uh, logging out first so that whatever we end up with is going to be kind of like generalized in a way that anybody can do it, right? <laughs> Especially because when, when I was first, you know, I did try this a little bit on my own. I'm like, oh, wow, this is interesting. But I was logged in as me. And of course, if I'm on my own channel, it's going to be very different, right? I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. YouTube, and I'm like, let's make sure that there's nothing tied to anybody's login information. Right, exactly. And in any case, uh, that's what my first step is. But this is not a coding step. This is no. just kind of like a requirement that I want to have right there. Right. But now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to try to mimic what I want to do, right? And then I will try to start typing the steps that I'm gonna take in the code. Mm -hmm. Those steps, I'm gonna write them down in English, you know, normal English, and then later on, I'm gonna convert that into uh, whatever code. Sometimes I don't need to do this because the steps that we're gonna follow are so easy that you don't have to think right. about it. But in some other situations, especially with bigger projects, it's good to just get the hang of this, right? We know this is gonna be somewhat complex, right? It's well, not yeah, that's right. So let's go ahead and start with that. The first thing we're gonna do is just go ahead and log out from this uh, channel. So I'm out and continue. No, but it's paused. I'm not tying it, right? So the second thing that we want to do is go ahead and grab a uh, fiddler. Just try and figure out how we're going to start. Of course, the first thing that I want to get are YouTube uh, related data. Yeah, limited. Yeah. Right. So right now it is limited to only YouTube things. And I, I'm, I'm still not sure where to start. So the first thing is that I'm just going to go ahead and do a few searches and a few things, and then just take a look at what we get. Look at that. <laughs> that was an image. Right. Uh, yeah. As you can see, look at this. I just, that's a post request. That was the information that was sent. And usually I like to see, uh, some of those post requests to see what happens. Look at that. They are sending my country information, which is in the Dominican Republic. I am seeing client version around there. So I'm not sure what that means. Uh, there's app install data. Some other things that I know that they're kind of like, oh, look at that. They're, they know what my browser is. So they send that information, including my OS information. So, okay. Uh, that was just a post request that the browser did automatically with all that information, right? So, 
I take a look at some other and I see that more, most of them look the same. And look here at the bottom, the, the answer is just a response context. It doesn't have anything. Usually when this happens, it's because they're setting up a lot of headers that contain all the information that they need. So this information that they sent back might not look special, but probably it's the most important thing because they're not- you might have to borrow it, right. Right, because they're not responding with any information here, but they're setting up some headers around, which might be very important later on. Okay, now uh, let's go ahead and take a look at a channel search. Let's go ahead and open up. If I do a search here, uh, the automator go lines, what do I get? Again, this is the funny thing. This is where the work comes into play. And uh, again, those are normal requests. I do have a lot of gets. That is compressed data. We have a lot of Google APIs, polls, and so on. But in any case, I don't see anything more very relevant to what I'm doing, except for this one, which I saw here that says search. So this one here, this search. So I see that yeah, actually, search yeah, key, <clears throat> right? I have a key search here. Does it have any I saw a Joe Glines in the, the query string somewhere. Right, that's what we're gonna do. So let's go ahead and find maybe Joke lines. Oh, here. The automator here, joke lines. And there's a complete search. So I think this is the one. Right, but this and this is still just looking for the channel. Is that that's right. no, no, so so this is just looking for the channel, but I want to kind of like have a feeling because I've never seen this data, right? But I know that he it says a OQ, the automator, Joe Glein. So this is basically my request. And look at that. That request is going through google.com, not YouTube, which is kind of interesting to me. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Right. So it goes directly to Google. And within the parameters, it tells you that it is YouTube or something, right? So that is an interesting re realization. We have our referrer here. But this is the search that I just did. And this is the answer that I got. Something user interface query. Ah, look at this. So you could do this was so this information was sent to Google, but this is not the search. This is the search. See that? Mm -hmm. And now something that draw my attention right away is the fact that you have this key right yeah. there. Which that is interesting. Here. That is something yeah. that we're gonna have to figure it out. As right. as, as soon as they pass some from? keys, right? Yeah, that, that would be like the most interesting thing that we, I think that is gonna be a nice headache for a little while. Yeah. Uh, right. yeah, so now we have our context and our stuff and that's the information that was sent. And within that context, we have the automator joke line. So this information was sent as a post request. So I know that probably I will have to do that. This is kind of like an object that I will have to send them, including the search information. So that's something that now I, I just keep it in mind. Now let's continue testing. This one here, I liked it. Let's go ahead and uh, mark it as blue. So that one is good. So that's a good search. So in case I need to find it again, I know that it is there. Now. I am on the automator right now. And if I am on its channel, right? And I try to do another query. Yeah, and this is the one we're really trying to mimic. Right, so one. this is the one that I'm trying to mimic, but I like to get a hang of it. So now here I have the uh, code right here. Now I notice here that at the top, I have this query like this. Now that usually means that I could do a, 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 a request just like that and I might get some information and I could even try that. Uh, we will see that in a second. But if I go back here, if I go down, 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 again, we have some key information. I see that key everywhere. Look at that. So uh, it says key and it looks similar to the previous one. So that key is important. We have a JSON object here. And probably if I go, wow, that's a lot of information. 
I don't see a query right there, but let's go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, YouTube I, so let me see. So these are YouTube B1. You see this B1 are usually API versions, right? Yeah, right. Usually they look like API uh, <clears throat> responses. Now you have version three here for videos. Okay. Very good. So now I know that those are there. Now the watch time, who OE, that might be a query. Don't look at the automator search query, Udemy. And that is a cookie. Okay, hold on. API stats. Oh, so this is for stats, but it looks like that's not what I'm looking for. Now let me go ahead and stop capturing data because it's kind of like doing some other things and generate playback. This one is a little bit difficult to catch here. I have a query here. Let's say complete search. This says complete search client. And then it says the automator joke lines. That's not it. That's the one yeah, in the previous exactly. one, right? Right. So it was after that. You might want to just clear that, your output and rerun the search. And... Right. Now, I, I want to clear everything except this one, the blue one that I know that is good. So what I'm going to do with this blue one here, uh, is, this the one, is this the one that I might? I don't think so. No, no. I marked one as blue. Yeah, I know. But it yeah. looks like everything is marking some things as blue. So great. Awesome. <laughs> that is not good. Uh, well, it's showing you... Yeah, why are you getting all the non-YouTube stuff? Oh, probably because they are ref being referred to that. Now, yeah, I could just the filter stop that. Oh, that's not they're refer it, it. It contains if I search in here on the top, it probably just grabs anything that contains that. But in general, that's not exactly what I need. I think this is the search that I wanted. This is the search that we captured. Yeah, this is one of the searches that I captured. So let me go ahead and edit in Composer. So I have it there. Now let's clean all that. And let's just go ahead and uh, just hit enter here again. That's it. Is that it? Original URL, it's different. Now, let me go ahead and try. Uh, Oh, right. Okay. okay, 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 okay. Stop capturing. It's okay now. Oh, but look at that. So it is actually returning a lot of videos, video IDs. You see that? Which might be what you want. Those are the video yeah, IDs. I don't, yeah, Maybe but from the answer, no? I got to think. It would return the full list of the the ID, the the videos in a JSON string, not not the, many of them, right? Yeah. Maybe <laughs> they're certain... at, yeah. But I'm looking at the images, and those are the default images, and those oh, here. You know are what? The so it's pulling up. It it pulls the list of the uh, the videos, and then says, "Get those thumbnails for some of those." Right. right? Yeah. Now, now that is actually interesting how it's working I, I thought it would be uh, in a different way but here look at that value search he logged in is zero does it have anything to do with the search that i just did um, okay so let me take a look at this this is one that I remember that it worked, right? So this one is the one that I said like, yeah, this is one of my searches, right? And right below that one, I got this, which should contain the snippet because that's the, the, the other, so let me see if I could find that, That's what you sent at the top, right? Uh-huh. I thought these you were are the ones. So these are the ones. So I have the image. 
I don't have anything that has to do with searching. Found. Oh, here. Query. Yeah, this is the search. Yeah. But that's for the original but, URL. Yeah. You see, so but so look they, look at the end of that one. Just keep scrolling down. Uh huh. Um, see, it's query snippet. See at the very end. Oh, here. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So the context. So basically, I am searching for that, and this is being done to this YouTube I V1 Rouse key, right? Now, right. Uh, this is something interesting and, and it has a very big size for the body. Agreed. Right? Now that's 4091. Let me go ahead and remove this. 4091. So that was 40, 40, 91. Where is it? Two. 4091. So this is the one that we are referring to, right? Again, so the, the previous search was this one, and it was like 26 uh, kilobytes, and this one is 25 kilobytes, so they're very similar. And they both end up with this 31 byte of, but they are all post requests. So after you do that, what you get back, and this is the part that we're actually interested in is, what do I get back? Well, I get some information, like uh, now I have the URL. Yeah, that's the higher level, I think, the overall. Mm -hmm. So, so that's that's for the channel, right? But how do I know the answer? So we have the playlist, community. Yeah, it's all still, I think, related about to yeah, expandable. Now here, look at that. What is this? Section list render so the title is search selected is true the text is snippet so this is my search right yeah. now the content might be my answer and i have a few things like these are probably the the the, the thumbnails <clears throat> right and the title says how to create shortcuts right and if i go back to my youtube how to create short those to folders and programs. So I have the thumbnail and I have the title, quick access. Now, where is my quick access explain? I don't see it. Quick access pop-up updates explain. So this quick access, uh, this is John alone. That's still on the one up before it, I think description of this guy right so okay yeah so look at that so we have how to create shortcuts as a folder and that's the accessibility data and this description and long line by text right so probably if i keep scrolling because i see that this i have to scroll Huge. like a lot right so if i keep scrolling because you there's a lot of data, from there can't you uh yeah you have here um that would be quick access, quick access explained. There it is. So title runs this guy, right? Now, that's what it runs. And this is the description. So I could get all the titles, but let me see, where is the URL? Can I get the URL to that? Oh, I saw a URL. Oh, that's my channel. Sorry. No. So hold on. Let me, let me. Well, let's why don't you and... go back to the web page and, and mm -hmm. copy the URL from the right. page. And see if I could just grab um, so because just because there's yeah there's too much lot. for it to say. Yeah. So we are on line two hundred and forty six. That's where we are, and we're de dealing with the content here. So now this guy here, uh, I could just copy link address. I don't think the whole address is going to be like that. Like agreed, but I think the ID might yeah, just the ID. So and this is for the video render. So I have video IDs. Yeah. So Very this cool. is exactly what I what right. we are looking for. So right. this is the one that we want to emulate, and we are completely sure about that one. You have your titles actually, so you can get all the information all you the want about right. the video, right? Right. Uh, so your I would thumbnail, think the thumb, the your thumbnail, title, yeah, the URL, yeah, the thumbnail, title. the title, and the URL are three things, uh, and probably even the description. Right. Yeah, that might be a bit long, but yeah. Yeah, but but depending on what you want to do, right? So yeah. 
now yeah, maybe case, list the first 200 characters which maybe is all that's in here anyway right because oh uh, yeah yeah i think i think they do not list the whole thing yeah now for us i think we were on 200 and what we said 200 uh -huh, here 246 that's where our yeah our thing our context here, our content actually here is what we really need so for us now uh let me see something video id how many of those i got hold on um, right video id So this has 300 video IDs. Three, oh, but they're oh, they're not yeah. on the same. So this is different, yes. right? Exactly. That's exactly that's exactly what I wanted to confirm. So right. this video ID shows up several times. It's the same Very video ID. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. So that's exactly what I wanted to double check. Because that means that I cannot just simply say like, oh, grab all the video IDs. Right. I have to make but, sure that I get it from the correct. Well, to um, me, I'd rather focus render. focused on getting, you know, triggering this and getting it because we can parse the JSON, you know, that's easy, right? After right. we actually automate getting it. But in this case, this is one of the things that I start just adding onto my uh, list. So right now I would just say, okay, first of all, um, emulate the uh, the browser call, okay? Second of all, then uh, parse correct uh, key for video ID because there are many. There are many. Uh, yeah, but and, and just, just to be clear, in this video, I thought we would show how to no. replicate the API call, not necessarily parsing it all and storing it in the object and stuff, right? Because don't worry, but that part, I, that's that's what I do. Like I just copy it over. Like yeah. that's something that I would have to do later, right? Yeah. But in this case, now I know that we have the correct things. I have two examples of it. Now I just select the one that I'm interested in and hit the letter E to go ahead and open this up. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and uh, clear the browser here. So we just cleared it. I'm going to execute this and see if I get the response that I'm yeah. expecting, yeah. which is something that, uh, good. Yep. yeah. So right now here Jeez. at the body, here in the body, I could see the, re the response right away. And I know that from line 246 on, 246 on is where I have this content for my search. So everything is looking exactly as I had it before. So my response is good. Uh, so this is the one that I'm emulating. Now, one of the first things that I would check is the um, the cookies. <laughs> so uh, I think in this case, the cookies are not going to matter that much because as well, we're we not logged in, right. as, yeah, as we're not logged in, like uh, it, cookies don't matter that much when you're not logged in. But... Uh, if you are in a site that you are need to be logged in, then yes, yeah, that's going to be something that you will need to do. You know what it could be? It's, it's a very interesting time to be doing this because over in Europe, you know, they're going through all those changes with what with you can say right. versus that. And uh -huh. I know Google, I actually read an article talking about how they're tracking you with out cookies, right? How they're doing stuff now. Um, it was a fascinating article, but um, <laughs> it could be yeah. very interesting to like, you know, this could be very tricky. Yeah. Yes, it, it can. Now here, one of the things that uh, I'm kind of like confused about, or well, not confused, like it is going to be a little bit annoying is doing the post request. So they send a lot of information here yeah. just for the post request. When I see that basically the most important part would be the query, right? But after, be, beside the query, I get a lot of things that might break my request. So first of all, uh, I want to save this guy just for later. So I want to save this. Let's go ahead and put it as- Save the uh, full version, yeah. Yeah, so this would be kind of like a um, um, channel search, right? So uh, you have to choose a folder. Let's create a folder, YouTube. Save that. Okay, so I have my channel search there. So again, uh, below, I 
get my responses. I am not doing anything, but what I want to do is play with this a little bit. So the body particularly is the one that I'm actually kind of more interested in. So let me go ahead and see how much information I could remove can before you, it breaks, right? Can you go back to the, the other view that you were looking at just real quick? The he, I guess just the headers. And... Oh, right. So this was this here. So on, on this, because I don't think this is in the normal version of Fiddler. On the left, can you just uncheck something? Yeah. Okay. And then it doesn't send it, but on the right. I would assume that, yeah, I would assume that it wouldn't send it. Right. Cool. Okay. So, yeah. That, so maybe I could just go ahead, for example, and remove the cookies. Right execute it and verify what happens. I get my, my same. So even though I don't have the cookies here and it, it actually removed it from the line. So yeah, and look at that, the cookies are zero. And let's see if I remove all these guys and see what happens. Execute again, I get my feedback, see? 246. And what I would say is just okay. scroll down to the bottom of that, like so the bottom of this guy here. Yeah. So 14775 is something we should probably pay attention to because, you know, yeah. it might suddenly flip to say like, you know, things are broken yeah, something else. Right. <laughs> it's hard to notice. But no, that, no. In, in my case, what, what I what I was just doing right now is going to line 246. Okay. which is the one that is uh, uh, the most interesting to me. But yeah, it is exactly what is exactly right. You should want you want to keep looking at the size of something specific. And I'm taking a look at the search because that's the one that I'm actually interested in. And I knew that it was in 246. So as soon as I remove something that does not allow you to, and I'm removing way too much things right now. Well, it's okay. Yeah, because but there's general, so much there, right? If we did right, one exactly. Time, we yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but in general, I know that as soon as there, there, there might be something here that is right. a very right. important for them, yeah. and it would break the search. Right. So, two forty-six. Now, doing the doing the control down the control end is kind of like faster. So I'm going to keep doing that. User agent. This is one that I want to hold yeah. on. Let me see. Let me, let me let me execute with the user agent. So that's okay. Now, if I remove the user agent. Now, you know what? Oh, hold on. You see the line changed. What? Yeah, but it, it, it doesn't surprise me that it doesn't change at all, right? Because I think it might be including the user agent in the response. Now, not only that, it I, might be that our assumption that deselecting it might not do anything. Totally but, but as far as I can tell, look, the headers are only six now instead yeah. of, you know, the amount. So, so I know that they are getting removed. I, I was also looking at the bot. See over in the right next to the 200 to the left of it, where it says body 753, 11 kilobytes. It's tiny. But, oh, right. Yeah. Um, up, sure. Yeah. But yeah. that is a nice, easy way to say, hey, oh, if yeah. it's, uh, exactly. it shrinks a lot or grows a lot. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That something might be and the yeah. 200. So long as you're yeah, getting absolutely. 200 right. response, yeah. you're good to go. Right. But it, again, I'm keeping, so it seems to me that the headers might not be uh, that important to this. Right. And look, the content length, even though I it, remove it, it gets added. It'll get automatic, automatically done, right? right? It, yeah, it has and to. And the host, it gets added as well. So, okay. cool. so the headers, at least in this kind of search, don't matter now Which makes sense. Here, look at this the key here at the top right might be something that does I matter totally believe that there you go. four yeah. or three right there so and the first thing see, is where in the yeah. world did that key come from <laughs> yeah that would be a very annoying thing to uh figure out but yeah that key here is a very important piece of information that we might want to go ahead and save somewhere uh, let's go ahead and save this. So uh, get browser key. Uh, hold on, just one second. URL key value. So this is something that browser key value. Example that thing. So this part is very important for us. Uh, because without that, the whole thing breaks. So that is one of those little things that uh, is very important. Now, from the body, and probably the reason why it's not breaking is because, let me 
executed. We, we got a 200, but now it might be because we're having a lot of information being sent by the post request. So I'm gonna do exactly the same process here. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the click tracking. Now, as this is an object, this is a JSON object. Yeah, you have to right. figure out that everything is separated by a comma. So yeah. each of the values like click tracking uh, is separated by a comma from the next one. So if I remove this one, this guy, I have to remove the comma as well because it's kind of like an object that is, uh, let me show you uh, not the JSON, but right. uh, the raw version of it. Uh, well, the raw version is already formatted, so it doesn't matter. But, but in yeah, any I case, uh, so long as you remove one particular key, you have to remove the comma that goes before that key. The parsing, yeah. Right. So right now I get a 200. Now yeah. we have a lot of uh, information here with the key value pairs. Let me go ahead and remove all this at once because I think this it, is something that this guy here might fail as soon as I do that. You, oh, good. It does show you the brace highlighting. So you, that can. That yes. Can. It tells you where, where, where to kind of like break. But this one I expected to, not to break, but it didn't. Okay. So I don't have to do this at signals info, maybe. So this is where it goes. And as I removed it, you will see that I need to remove this comma here. And you get a little decent highlighting there. So it's good. The size is less. The request might be used as a cell. I think that is important. It's not for whatever we're doing right now. Uh, user. Okay. Now that. Now this Next part one, here. That's looking at least part of that. Yeah. Let, let's go ahead and remove it completely first and see what happens to see if that is actually. Uh, well, it, it, yes, it, it had is. the information about my channel. So, right. Uh, sorry, I didn't see that. So yeah. let me see. Hold on. Hmm. Uh, for some reason, I just can't yeah, undo. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that is something that I don't. Uh, so let me see something. Uh, but in any case, I could just uh, recreate the last. Go yeah, the last one I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to save it. And just open it and let's just go ahead and remove. Well, I don't care about these guys. I know that the headers are not. Well, I, I was going to say you could go back to the traffic and just get the one before. I don't know. So I, I already have it saved, but I, I already know that at least from this part on, all of this, I don't okay. need it, seems like, right? But so let me see, hold on. Let me execute it. It's good. Now here. You said, oh yeah, the so body this is, got, wait, this, the body this got, part here. I don't, I don't think it worked. Okay, let's see, 250, 46, 246. I do have my data here. Okay, wow, it really so, shrunk down in size. Right, so th they're sending some information yeah. there that is not basically what I need. Yeah. Because here you have the, the content from line 249 to 12,000. So there's a lot of content information there. So I, I wouldn't feel that we lost anything with those videos and so on. So, yeah, but the body went from 753, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 to 24 kilobytes. Yeah, yeah There's so, a lot of yeah. data there being sent that I don't really need. Now I know for sure that this URL is important, but let's sure. go ahead and try to remove it just for a second and see what happens there. Uh, so here, and I, I could, you see that I can undo, but it seems to be that when you get an error, maybe you cannot undo. And look, I removed no, that. It's, it's when you execute. Now try to undo. So if I undo now, it is there. Oh, never mind. Yeah, so I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. okay, now it's, you know, yeah. it's like, but, but, but yeah, but here's the funny thing. So now that line that apparently was important or whatever, it's not really important. So this part here, we not, now I know for sure that there are some things in here that are important. That is not it. So let me go ahead and remove that one. That, yeah, that, that 27 through 30 or wherever, right in that break, that's gonna. Right. No, no, it didn't break. So I, I, I used it and it returns the search. It was good. Even if I removed it, which, which is unexpected to me. So the the automator has to be somewhere, you know, the channel has to be listed somewhere else as well, or, right? I mean, 
Oh, uh, here in the original URL, maybe? I'd be surprised. That's to to me, that'd be like the referral, right? Which I wouldn't think would be. Right, but let's go ahead and remove that. Yep. I, I would assume that that, yep. if I don't have that information anywhere, so that's not it. So how does it know what the data is? So I think that they, he knows this part. I know that the query is down here. I know that. And I know that if I remove it here, that one will fail. So this one I know that will fail. Oh, no, it doesn't fail. Oh, that's interesting. So let me see, hold on, 246. Well, it, it hold on, because the search was still possibly being done on my channel, but do we oh, no, know hold it on. actually? No, 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 it did fail. It yeah, because it, did, it didn't know what to search for. Yeah. Right, exactly. So it is the search, but it is empty because, of course, I need the query. Now, now that I have the query, but it didn't give you an error, right? right? The, but the query didn't, re didn't return whatever you needed. But now here I have my selected and I, I have my content here, Results. which is what I'm looking for. So, so I know that that line is working. So I know that that one tells them what uh, to search for. Now, how do you know which channel to search for? With, uh, with, because I removed the channel from the top here and I removed it from the bottom. So probably the parameter here might be the channel name uh, encoded there. So let's go ahead and try that. So if I go ahead and remove this line here and I execute, yes, it just, oh, just died there. <laughs> it didn't like that. Okay, so uh, it tried something. 246, 246, 246. Uh-huh. Yeah, it broke. That, guess what? what? Guess what? Line 246, the browser ID, this makes no sense. That's my YouTube channel ID. I just looked into my channel and I'm like, oh, I think it's oh, actually. Oh, there you go. ID. So the browse ID. Now, but look at this. Yeah, not browser ID. It's the browser. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. browse ID. <laughs> not browser. Okay, yeah. I get that. I get that. There's something then a, a little bit complicated here. This line, the parameters, is important. This here, I don't know what it is. And as soon as I removed it, my search doesn't work. So I did get some things like, you know, those are your videos, but that is not the results from the search. So let me see. No, nothing to do with the search, maybe. Select it. Oh, look at that. Hold on. Yes, that is my search. Home. This is a title home selected true. But look at this. So this parameter might be what where am I located at? So take this into consideration. When I go to line 246, right, which is what I have been checking at the whole time, you say, look at that. Title says search, right? And mm -hmm. in the search, it's a selected and true. And I get my contents for my search, right? Very good. So title search selected true. Now, if I remove this parameter here, what I get it's different. What I get on line 246 is not what I'm expecting because I get some weird things. But if I go up, I find that same title and selected, but the title is home and selected is true. So this part here might be kind of like where you're located. If it is the search, uh, the oh, search the element or, kind of thing, you mean? Right, he, looks like it because if i put it this title changed to search all right that's what i'm looking at so yeah fine okay so we know that these three what they are now from here i'm trying to remove some things i know that i can remove the user theme looks like that's that should not break anything uh now the offsets maybe the browser versions let's go ahead and remove all this up to here do I get any significant change? Uh, 
Now, this is interesting. Uh, even though you remember that at the beginning we were having like 700 kilobytes, right? Yeah. And now 24 kilobytes. But the line number here at the bottom, 14,775, is the same, even though the size is different. So they were sending some binary data or something compressed in there that was making the whole thing bigger, but it cannot be seen in the, in the JSON. Uh, in the JSON. Yeah, I get you. Right. Right. So well, well, correct me if I'm wrong. Couldn't it it's still, they could be returning the HTML at the same time and the JSON gets shoved in with it? Is, yeah, but I would but I would assume here you see here on the raw data, yeah, okay. you might be able to see kind of like the yeah. compressed thing that they're sending Fair or enough. whatever. Yeah, so I would assume that that's what's going on. So no problem, everything is going good. I removed some things now. If I remove the browser name and version, what happens there? Yeah, so everything is working fine. You might probably remove this whole thing. Let's go ahead and remove visitor data up to here. Um, execute it. Right, so I got an error. So something here is important. So let's go ahead and remove the browser information up to here. Oh, shoot. No. The browser information up to the client version. See? I get information back. But as soon as I remove probably the user agent, I think, the user agent is the one that is, oh no, hold on. Ooh, this is interesting. Here, was it the client version? Ah, there you go. So you cannot remove the client version, okay? Because they use that uh, thing to do a condition. So probably some clients some cli older clients cannot access some of the information that they're going to be sending. So they remove that. So you cannot remove that, but I would assume, oh no. So I have to have, I'm sorry. See, huh? yeah. So I have to have the web. I have to have web and I have to have that. So if I remove any of those two, it just goes ahead and fails. Now let's try with uh, the user agent, which usually is very important. Ah, so they don't care about the user agent. Uh, let's just double check that I'm getting the correct response. 246, title search, right? I get my information. So everything is good. Device model. Now, I don't know about this IP here. Oh, come on. Here it is. Uh, yeah, I removed the user agent. Now, visitor data up to this IP address, which I'm not sure. Looks good. It's giving me information back huh? 246 246 yeah everything is good now the remote host and these guys here which i assume they're not really needed they're not needed so i i, I figured out that i just have to send that mm -hmm. and from these guys uh i we just determined that we need the uh, yeah, channel, the channel, the channel ID, ID yep. right? That's the now, this channel ID, hold on. Is this a, a, something that I could get directly from uh, the channel itself, like from here? Yeah, like, for example, I, that's uh, what I did. So maybe Good. the about? Well, and it, it, I was trying to Google it to find yours. Um, I, I read if you, if you go like maybe like to a playlist, maybe, then it might be in the URL, copy okay. the URL. Uh, oh no! This is the video. This is the playlist info. Oh. No, so I don't but see that there. I was reading something. On, um, they they said something. Good, just go to a video then, and that that's where I got um from the video. Visit the channel like uh, open any video posted by this channel. Copy the channel link from the video page. I um, mean, in that oh, oh here, here 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 here. So you're saying like the the link from here? Oh yeah, there it is. So it is just the channel link, the channel URL. Yeah. The, the so if you right click version. on it, yeah. So you can right click on it, copy, and okay. you would get this this URL that has the the. So I know that I could get that from that, right? So that's okay. I can get that now. The parameter, 
I would assume that this parameter would never change because that is that looks like for the search. And now the only thing that we have to change is the query. So this is our body request. This is something that we have to send as a body. So let's copy this um, over here. Let's have this around and let's comment this out. This might be our payload is what we would call it. This is our payload, which is what is gonna be sent as a body request. And now this is what we're expecting back, which is our uh, JSON string. Now, very good. Right now, just by doing this. Now, the one thing that we're looking for is this key here. Now, this key is something that I don't think if we got it right. So all the all the places where that key is located is when our browser makes a post request. So let's go ahead and remove all. Let's go ahead and remove this up as well. Let's go ahead and remove any cookies that we might have, which might help on this part. So uh, come on, yeah. uh, cookies, let's go ahead and remove all, done. Uh, and let's go ahead and go here. Nice. So now, oh yeah, awesome. I was not capturing the traffic. <laughs> that's a good one. Uh, so, so that's good, we're good. And let's go ahead and do a query test here. Huh, okay, so the first thing I get is this connect method, right? And probably, in that connect mess method might either uh, set a cookie or something. I don't see it. And there's a lot in that body, though. Right. There's a lot of things going on. Um, but let's start with that. So we get a connect here. Why did that show up first now? Adobe. What? Oh, because I'm not. How about? Do you do you think there's a chance that the uh, the the the, I, the key we're looking for has changed? Mm, I'm not sure. So let me go ahead and verify something. This call here already has the key there, right? Which so I'll go backwards and see if we can find that key. Is that the same key you had before? I, I don't. Yeah, it's exactly the same. So it started with AI and ended up with W eight. So that's what I'm checking out. But but this is the funny thing. I remove everything, right? So I remove everything. I remove my cookies. Oh, sorry. Remove hey, all cookies. Do you have a Firefox or something else installed? I mean, do you, you don't um, think there's any chance that, that actually isn't a standard? To the, mm, no, it wouldn't make sense. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. But basically, just just stay in here. I think it. I saw something there. Let me do a search, and it already has the key in it. So that that URL already has the key in it. The AI W eight. So that key is somewhere in my computer. Let's try something. Let's go ahead and try um, starting this on. Um, on, um, what do I say? Let's go ahead, YouTube. Right now, on any of these guys, so we have a lot of, oh, and here is the key again. I see that key everywhere. Yeah, W8 AI. So that looks like a something that is static, at least for my computer. This is one of those things that I would test it on your computer to verify if well, you get exactly the I was same. Just to try a different browser? Or you uh, let's try a different browser. Let's go to Edge. Let's clear this up. Let's go to YouTube. Oh. 
How convenient. What? Oh well. This is the this is the one. Oh. Oh, no, this one doesn't have hard. the key. No, no, this is this is not it. And the funny thing about that is that this one is not. Oh, here, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Oh, but is this from Chrome or from Edge? Oh no, that's from Edge. MS Edge, and that one already has a key right there. The AI and ends in W eight. Now this, I would like to check it on your computer because. Uh, I, it might be that that key is static, which means that it, you just have to use that, right? But I don't know if that is related to my computer. Are you able to show your screen on that? Um, I'm, hold on one second. I'm yep. doing it. Let me just, if I spot it, then we don't even have to start digging. But, um, I don't know. You just have to get some one of those uh, YouTube links, and especially the ones that say it's YouTube I. YouTube I is usually followed by that key everywhere. In any case, while you do that, let me see what happens if I do this. My right, permission denied. And one question that I had the question that I had is whether I could. Oh, mine's different. It does start off the same, though. It's kind of the same. That it starts off with the A I Z A S Y, and then from there it changes. That is bad news, by the way. <laughs> that is bad news because what happens is. Hmm. Well, well, we're not. That, that we have to figure out. Okay, that's an error. What we didn't try was just changing, leave the A I S Y A O, you know, change something after, change a character after it. Uh, it should fail, right then. <laughs> let's yeah, see. I would think. Okay, but... So let's go. Yeah. Okay. API key not valid. Now, how did I get that API key is the question. So for some reason, and, and even if I am using Edge, I'm getting in the exact. Yeah, that's name. Nuts. Right. right, so I'm, I'm getting the exact same API key, right? And that's that's where I would actually Hashing your IP address or something like yeah. what? Yeah, that would be interesting. But that is one of those things that would become a little bit complicated. And now the, the, the funny thing about this guys is that you can use this key on another computer. Well, I don't know. I don't Good know question. if you can use it in a different computer. Right. Right. Pass, well, let me give you mine. Hold on. Yeah, me... go ahead and send me that. Because what happens is when they encode things like this, usually right. it's because they're encoding information about your computer, right. just your computer, that as soon as I try to do a request with an, uh, with an API key that is not mine, sometimes they would just try to match it with whatever they get and it would fail. So... Okay, I'm pasting it in the telegram. Okay. Yep. Mine's better than yours. <laughs> we're going to check that in a second. A few <laughs> minutes later, we're going to right away see if that's true. Uh, so we have our key right there. Let's see what happens. Oh, so that's a 200. That's interesting. Right. <laughs> that is really interesting. So it creates some kind of like, now what I would assume then, what I would assume then right away is that that key is temporal. Probably it's working for today, but maybe tomorrow you get a different string. That might happen. Like I, right. I, I could totally see that. So basically in this case, uh, this is where I would start, right? So at least I know where I could start, right? And what we're gonna do is just convert this to a string, to a query for us. And usually you just copy this off and go ahead and 
change all this to auto hotkey code. But uh, since that is a lot of things going on, I, we have a small script that would do that for you. So as soon as you run it, it is just waiting for you to copy something from Fiddler. And as soon as you just hit the copy button, it would grab that and try to convert it into auto hotkey code that would tell you here how to create an object. Uh, it would actually automatically create the object for you, set the proxy to Fiddler. And in our case, I, I would, we'll have to change this to 866 because this is the new version. Uh, it would open a post request, YouTube, whatever it is. And it would set the headers for you, set the cookies for you, and then the post the payload, which in this case it created kind of like a whole thing yes, because the payload no because the payload was uh, has new lines on it, so the payload has new lines on it like uh, this, right? So it well, tried you, each line it just created like a new even if you copy it from the raw. But that is from the raw, right? Is so it? I am in okay. I am in the raw but here. So oh, all right, right. So he just did that for some reason, but it doesn't matter. Uh, we just raw, yeah but... yeah. It's kind of weird. That is not expected, but we could just go ahead and create a yeah. Mainly go over do the copy and paste it. Right. In this case, we just paste it there. Um, I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and do this. Let me go ahead and copy that again. So this way, I am passing the correct information to it as uh, a variable. Mm -hmm. Now the formatting of it doesn't matter, so it doesn't care. Right, it's a JSON string. About it. Right, it's a JSON string. Uh, so that is being passed. And what I would assume from this whole thing is that my, of, I'm sorry? We can get rid of all the headers, right? Yeah, we can get rid of all of that because we noticed that it doesn't matter. So yeah, the length, I don't care. Uh, so long as it is like the YouTube host, doesn't matter, it actually does everything by itself. But now if I go ahead and run this, my output debug here for my response text should be whatever I'm getting here at the bottom. Yeah, it should be something like that. Right. right now, what we're going to do, let's go ahead and clean this off because I, I do want to kind of like go ahead and take a look at what comes out of this thing. And I hit F9 and what it says, uh, it contains a variable meaning missing is percent sign. Uh, here, there is a small percent uh, thing that had to be escaped. That's what happens. So here we go again. Uh, set request. Headers, uh, no, so come object create a HTTP set request header. Oh, maybe. well, yeah, it was just because of an S right there. Okay. Probably it's misspelled. See, yeah, there it is. Okay, so oh. we've got a permission denied, denied here. So empty uh, are blocked. So requests from refer empty are blocked. That means that I do have to set up the request. The, the, uh, well, that is because of, uh, uh, how do I call this? There's one of the headers, but this is interesting because the headers, I supposedly removed them. So you know what? So maybe it was not as we were, um, we're expecting. So the request header, would be refer. So there was this URL here and refer. Is that really true there? So that request from M from referrer empty. So I just put a referrer now here. Let's see what happens here. So from the automator search. Get. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and make this big here. What did I get here? Yeah. Playlist endpoint. Looks like I got the correct data. Yep. 
So I have my information here. And if I go down a little bit more, title home is false, but it should uh, come back to uh, about and then search. Search is true. And then we have our nice. There you go. So in there, now this is interesting that we were actually removing the yeah. referrer from here. Turn it off from there. We run it. Right. Right. But probably it is because uh, either the referrer is being set automatically. Let me delete it like this. I, I think it's the same. Yeah. So the referrer is being set automatically, seems to be, or or the script, uh, you know, Fiddler might be sending this, if, if it is empty down there, might be sending so the same. I don't you know should, what happened. You should be able to literally compare, instead of looking at the compose, okay. go to right. the traffic, right? And compare. Right. So and I have the Fiddler web UI and we have the auto hotkey here, right? So auto hotkey, I have two of them. One of them was, uh, 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 ah, whatever. so this is the one. But look at that size. Well, and oh. compared to the Fiddler one, which is yeah. very similar, right? That's right. Yeah. Okay. Fine. So now, uh, for this one, so the one that we were looking at here, this is the one that we sent, well, and the do me this is the one that we sent, right? Yeah. The, the, the bottom one, left Fiddler one, select it. But no, the one, the 771, the big one. Yeah. Is 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 there a header there showing the user agent? The user agent, yeah, but not the refer. I, I'm so yeah, I'm sorry. The refer. Just want to make no. sure it wasn't there because even though we turned no, it off. It is not there. No, okay. yeah. So it, it is okay. not there. So then let's finish going where we're going. Cause right. It is something that I'm not really sure what happened there, but uh, in Fiddler, it doesn't care about the referrer, but in here it does. Maybe Fiddler adds a referrer silently. I'm not sure. But basically, as you can see now, we just got we just got in yeah, AutoHotKey code. Yeah, so we already have code, and this response text is already what we're looking for. So right. this response text is already the JSON that we wanted. Now, in this case. Uh, we know that we did that. We emulated the, this is the part that we're talking about. So emulating the browser call, we just emulated it here, right? So I just got the text. Now the browser key value, we determined that at least those keys that we have right now can be swapped. So as long as you have one of them, you can use it. Now, the question is how to get it. Uh, yeah. Or how right long now, did it last? Yeah. Oh, how long did, uh, do they last now in all the calls that we have been doing right all the calls that we have been doing uh i do not see it being set uh so uh so we tried with uh incognito tabs we tried with uh different browsers and in every single instance it got the same so now i'm not signed in Right, so I'm out. And if I go to YouTube, as soon as we do it, it already has the key on it. Do you think, see how you are signed in? Um, although the incognito should take care of that, right? That's right. The incognito, uh, if I am here, so let's go ahead and redo this just in case, right? So no information whatsoever. If I go to YouTube, right? Either I should have gotten it from one of these calls. So up to this point, I don't have anything as a key. But then at some point, let me see here. So this is the first time that I see the key. Key, A-I-Z-A, -A, right? So up to this point, I don't see any, 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 any. No. Right, copy so it should be one of those calls. Yeah, but okay. copy your, your key and search for it. It should get highlighted, you know, in every one it's in. Yeah. Right? And, and yeah. that'll just be the easy way. But the problem is that the first one that gets highlighted here is call 5485, but that is already after. You see, 5485 is already after one of these guys. 
So, right. But my point is, if it was in the response to one of those, it should pick it up. Mm, I'm not sure. <laughs> That's the question. I don't know what this search is actually doing. Maybe the okay. body. Let me see. The version of Fiddler I use, it, it picks it up. Okay. Um, I'm not really sure. Because yeah. what, what it's doing right now well, let's is test that it. No, look, look for, look up above at a keyword that we know is in one of those and then search for it. You, you, you get my point? Go up to one of like 5466, find uh -huh. something that is in the response, right? Closure. Yeah. Okay. So it's not, it's not. Hold on. Yeah. No, no, no. It's not. Yeah. Okay. So that's good to prove. So, right. so it that's something that you know, but in, in the, in the older version, you can do that is what you're saying? I'm pretty sure. Well, there's, and maybe it's just a different spot where you have to search, where it will right. search everywhere. It's very likely. I'm not really sure. I, I cannot really answer that one. I have never searched for that. But in this case, the one thing is, I know that I got it from 54 uh, something. The problem would be like, okay, which of these calls? Well, there's not that many. Like if you can, right. so, you can search your response on the bottom. Right. Now no. here on the right side, I do not see a search here. Oh yeah. I do have a search here. That's being sent though. We want what's we want it in the, the bottom. Oh I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah. So so from the from the response. I'm sorry, I got yeah. long there. Now on the body, I don't think that is gonna have that because that's an image. Those are fonts, G static, those are images, I think. Uh, it, it, this guy, this guy. So this is the one that has the key. Right. I'm sorry. So it's somewhere above is right. So somewhere above this guy. Now I have a get here. Let's go ahead and try that. No results. Let me see how much. Yeah, I'm getting the correct thing. Um, so that doesn't look like it is in the body of that one. Desktop. Oh, at least the, I think the it's automatically search. doing it for you. Yeah. Right. I, I don't know if it is actually performing the I the agree. Thing. Yeah. But it's sure. Well, but well you could just, yeah, just, yeah. So that didn't, oh, because it's not on the result, but I think it is here, right? Oh, what? I see the key there. Oh, no, I think it has to be searched on the, on the, on the raw. So there you, you go. Right. Okay. So that, 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 you see, hold on. So change your bottom to the raw also. Yeah. So, so I should try with the raw instead. Uh, so we have raw here. Let's try there just in case. So we have this guy, right? Now, before it, uh, raw, uh, that would be annoying. This is the part that people don't understand about programming. It's a lot about, you know, doing a lot of manual labor like this, just to find out. Usually yeah, because some... Yeah, yeah, and, and usually because the tool itself does not have something that allows you to do that, that's fun, right? right? But usually um, some tools are better at it than others. But even if you have the best tools available, there's one point. At oh, some absolutely. point, you will have to do this uh, this manual labor anyway. Well, and that's that's where even you know, and even then, when when it becomes where you do it so often, then we find a way without a hotkey to right. speed it up. Right. That's right. That's right. Now. I would, come on, I don't see that anywhere. But let me see, it might be one of these calls at the top. Have to do with the, with the. Yeah, I, I would think maybe starting at the top, right? Like the very first one, they might assign it. Yeah, might be. But yeah. We are already deep down, so yeah, let's no, try to finish off. There we go. And the, uh, the funny thing is when you finish off this whole thing and then none of them have it, and then you're going to be like, what? Oh, geez, that's funny. Oh. Okay. Yep. None of them. So we don't know exactly where this key is being assigned or how does it work um and how is the browser automatically creating this key for you, you and does it do it on every single search how about this do, you know what i think you you mentioned something maybe it was a different topic earlier but it could be um browser 
like close your browser, close your instance of your browser, well, right? Well, yeah, so let's go ahead and, and then clear your traffic. And then let's see, maybe you get a different ID. Just by opening it? Well, let's see. Okay, so we're going to do, let's, let's go ahead and re close everything. Let's remove everything. Let's go ahead and open it up again. Now, I don't see any information, right? So I don't have anything that has to do with YouTube right now. And as soon as I go ahead and open up YouTube, see? Uh, am I getting anything? Yeah. Uh, let me clear They're the covers. Yeah. Doing a lot of things. There's a YouTube. You know what? There's a YouTube. So, 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 you know what? So, okay, that's interesting. Maybe, maybe that ID is not being assigned at the YouTube page. Maybe it's assigned at Google APIs. Well, we did see, right? That's a good point. We did see traffic. Right. Yeah, might be being assigned somewhere else, and we're missing it because we're filtering. Right, so maybe that might be, so if I go ahead and search for that guy, so 6016, right? So let's go to 6016. This is where we are, but we do have uh, fonts, YouTube, and client data. Usually with those client data is where kind of things are. Now, the ID is the same ID you had before, right? Let me let me go ahead and try it again. Right. Let's do all the eyes. One second. This is my first call with the key, right? So we get it here on top. Clients of Google. Clients of Google. Something there. Clients to here encrypted. Maybe it might be in one of these guys. So uh, we have 6070. I, what's that log event on 6070? Um, that, that already has the key on it. So we already had it. So the key is already applied to that URL. So it has to be before that. This is an image, this is the image. SS production notification. Oh, and this is what? Don't call token. We have a token here. But that maybe not has nothing to do with. No, that's not Adobe. So let's go ahead and remove all. Let's go ahead and open a incognito window. Okay. Go ahead and remove all from here. Nito window. No traffic. YouTube. There you go. So SSL G static here. It's the first call we got. And later on, we had this client thing variation. It says, this one is encrypted. You know what? I think I might say that it, it has to do with one of these guys. So look at that. So we have... Uh, SSL static, SSL static, and then YouTube. And right there we have the key. So safe browser mode. So one of these two guys is the one that creates what we're looking for. I, I think, what are the headers here? Well, correct me if I'm wrong on this one. So. It browser starts off, mm -hmm. it doesn't have a cookie. We cleared the cookies, mm -hmm. right? We go, we go to YouTube, mm -hmm. even if it's triggering, but see, cookies have to be done by their domain, don't they? Yeah. But, so, but, but for now, we aren't dealing with cookies at all. We're dealing with a key that they sent well, a parameter. Yeah, but I'm I'm just trying to say, like how the thing is, how would it go again? How would it go across browsers? Uh, because they're calculating something. Okay. So what, what I would understand is 
that probably this SSL, which is you know the secure layer, right? Um, when it does this call to GStatic or this one here, safe browsing, at some point it gets some information from your browser, makes a calculation, and it says this browser has this ID, and that is what is sent to YouTube later on as the key parameter. That's what I might see happening here, but I cannot confirm it because the, the information that I'm returning from these guys, uh, they do not look like, uh, uh, so there are some ciphers, okay? So it is trying to do kind of some kind of uh, encryption, mm -hmm. which is what we're looking at in this key. This key is encrypted. It's not, it's not uh, plain data. This is something like an encryption right there, right? So there is an encryption going on and probably it's done by this GL, uh, this G-Static uh, website because it doesn't matter what I do whenever I remove everything, right? So if I go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and remove everything. Yeah, what'll be interesting is if we did this in a week from now, if it still comes Could it be the that? same, right, exactly. Or, or just tomorrow, I think just by going the next day. So when I go to youtube.com, the first traffic I saw last time had to do with Google, the, the, the static from Google. But this time I, I don't see it. So I, and at some point, I'm not sure where that is being created, but at some point from the first call up to the point where you get the first instance of the key. So let me see what the key is, where is it? So this is 6382. So when we see 6382, 6382, here we go. And there it is. So this is my first call with that key. And just above it, I have this G static code. You see that? And I have it up here again. So I do have some code and I think this is the one that is creating that uh, thing and in the end, either setting it, it, it is not setting a cookie, so it's not a cookie, but I'm not really sure how that works. So probably you don't even have control of it. Probably as soon as you make the call, gstatic.com creates that on their end and YouTube just goes ahead and read it from their end. You might not be able to actually duplicate that at all, but look at that. If window Chrome, you see this guy here? So window navigator, user agent. If, so they are doing some checks in this call, you see that? And this code here from GStatic might be the one that is creating that key that is created uh, during your call. Again, all of these kind of things, this is where the complexity. Yeah, yeah. let's not right. try so, to solve that during this. No, I don't think you will be able to solve it we're, that we're very directly close. like this. Yeah. But in general, we did get a very good idea of how we can start off, right? Like where would you start up uh, taking a look at uh, how you can start yeah. this type of calls? And what kind of things you might try, how to delete some data, like the, the headers, which headers are important, which aren't, and so on. And later on, when you have everything, how you can even create a, a little tool that creates the code for you for auto hotkey, which is just a few lines of code, basically, just to go ahead and get the response text that you need for later on going ahead and parsing it, right? So... Yeah, I think that's uh, where we would wrap up this video. Cool. Yeah, awesome. Okay, so we're going to be talking later then. All right, thanks, man.